missed watch. The journey getting here was more difficult than I anticipated. But at the local Jarls, the Empire, and the Dominion are allowing bandits to run free, to hold watchtowers, to hold... I mean, this is a fortress. Ruins, maybe, but still a strong defensive position, and if, if bandits can hold it, kidnap people, innocent people... And something must be done. <laughs> there are many in this land who don't understand the High Elves. The name itself is a misunderstanding. We Altmer are good people. So if we demand more of ourselves and of others, it's only in a pursuit of Betterment. I don't see what's wrong with that. Wish I could ah! ah. <laughs> Clever. I was about to say I wish I could light the arrows on fire. Lead me to our prey. You shall be the vanguard of my invasion on this watch. the summoner, not the summoned. <laughs> give them the benefit of the doubt, something which has not always been afforded me and my people. A wise man once said, fact is exaggerated, warped, invented, 
and ignored in favor of superstition and old prejudices. Even the literate and well-traveled can believe and spread false information depending on where they have been and what they have read. I remind myself frequently that those who may claim to hate the High Elves it's not personal it's their own ignorance so what if we want to make things better if we want to do better if we demand better hmm. oh, the hunting brew and the black briar Were they having some kind of a blind taste test? Ah, oh, I do like the hunting brew. Ah. Oh, I'll have to try the black briar. Oh, well, this is rather obvious, don't you think? I suppose they're trying to keep people in rather than out. Okay. I'm here to kill the bandit leader. And then I must, must continue on to Iverstead. I've delayed long enough. I hope these graybeards don't think that they summon you and you run to the top of their mountain. I mean, I have things to do. Hey, who's there? You over here, quick, before any of them show up. What? Before any of oh, us show up. I need your help. My help? Who are you? Stendar's mercy. You aren't one of them. Please, you've got to help me. What's going on? It's my wife, Viola. I think she's being held in this tower. Calm down. Just tell me what happened. I'm sorry. I just... You're right. Let me explain. Fiola, my wife, left the farm on errands and never came back. It's been months, and I've been searching for her since. I heard a rumor that these bandits were ransoming captives, so I thought she may be here. I managed to sneak past the guards and get this far, but hmm. I don't think I can go on. I'm no warrior. Please, can you look for her? You're sure she's being held here? Honestly, I have no idea, but I've looked all over, and the kidnappings here started around when she disappeared. So I have to hope. Hmm. Very well. Thank you. I don't have much, but I can give you some coin for the trouble. One of the guards dropped this key while I hid. I wager it'll come in handy for you. Please hurry. Hmm. Let's see what I can do. Until you can find out whether Fiola here. There's nothing I care to discuss. Pardon me, sir. Dare you speak to me? Until you can find out whether Fiola is here, there's nothing I care to discuss. Hmm. I'm gonna put my bow away before I do something I might regret. Ah, oh, too easy. I feel like I'm getting stronger with my lockpicking. Practice makes perfect, I suppose. Until you can find out whether Fiola is here, there's nothing I care to discuss. I will slap you, sir. <laughs> I said, are you sure your wife's here? He says, not really. Great, I'm so glad I can help. Fool. Mm. This is key came in handy.
judging by the number of beds, maybe. Maybe eight. I hear footsteps. seem very organized. It seems like they're just squatting here. They made themselves a lovely homestead. They have a broom. Perhaps they should try sweeping up. Hmm. Some pheasant would be tasty later, perhaps with the black briar. Are they expecting bears? One thing's for sure. They weren't expecting me. Ah. Oh. Good night. Are beautiful. As beautiful as you are useful. Hmm. This potion could come in handy. Elves ear. You son of a. Elves ear. Would you like a bandits? <clears throat> I'm never gonna get used to that. It sounds like a fireball. Oops. Oh god. Ah, oh, but Ariel, steady. Stay steady. Someone's been here recently. Did someone really sleep under this lean-to? I could make use of this cooking pot, but... Not now. That's not it. Better luck next time. Oh. No. More towards the center. 
can gather enough gold. I think I could afford that small house in Whiterun. Unless there's a better one in another city I haven't seen yet, but it would be nice to have a place of my own here in Skyrim. You puny wit, you can't hide from me. Where are you? Where's that voice coming from? down there? Hmm. Oh, now what am I thinking? If I follow my instructions and do what I'm told, I'll be staying in Winterhold for the foreseeable future. I have enjoyed White Run. I could see myself making a home there. Oh, perhaps a summer home. <laughs> Is there summer here in Skyrim? Where am I supposed to be going? Ah, have I hit a dead end? There's nothing else down there. <sighs> I could use some rest. Perhaps there'll be a little in an Iverstead. I know I'm not taking a nap on that lean-to next to the cooking pot. You know, I wonder if I could... No, I can't make it up this. I think, yes. I think I can access this other tower. Why would they build windows that small? It's such a lovely view. It's not like an archer could shoot this high. <laughs> well, I could. Taking into account the proper trajectory. Ah. I don't believe I've been here before. I can always use an extra dagger. I run out of arrows, which is unlikely. Respect bandit, your skill with a bow is not entirely pathetic. There's not much competition in these parts. So, the Warhammer, I mean, it's just so messy. You get up close and personal, and you get. That's all you oh. Oh. Ah, fall back. 
I should summon something. Ah, yes. Deal with this. Deal some damage, my friend. My pretty. You make it too easy. Oh, that sound you make it unnerving. Ugh, you bandits and Nords have such inelegant armor. Okay. Now what were you guarding? I see beds, but those wouldn't be for prisoners. Oh, of course, cells. Now what do you say? The lady we grabbed down by the river turned out to be a feisty one. Burbank thought he could beat some respect in her, but it looks like he used too strong a hand. The boss is not going to be happy. Hmm. Couldn't possibly be the... the woman I'm looking for. No. No, that's not her. Savages, they they beat her to death. They deserve whatever they get. If my arrow finds its mark right in the back of their heads, that's all they deserve. Ugh, this guy again. Where are you? You can see me, but I can't see you. Oh, wait. Oh, I have been here before. I think. Ugh, oh, I should put breadcrumbs down or make a map or something. No. Yes, I have been here. So I went all the way around to pop out right there, next to the chest that I opened just minutes ago. Oh, I'm getting quite turned around here. Maybe that rude gentleman's wife isn't actually even here. After all, it was just a guess she was here. What am I even doing here? I found that woman on the road and I vowed revenge. Well, well the guards aren't going to do anything about it. The Thalmor, for all their bluster, they're doing nothing. They're so concerned with eradicating Talus worship that all order is just fallen by the wayside now. This is new. We can use the gold. Oh. Oh. All right, Snowback. Who are you and what are you doing in my tower? Snowback? Stand aside, woman. I'm here for Fiola. Fiola? How do you know that name? Her husband sent me. Where is she? Krister? He's here? Yes, wait. You know him? The fool's my husband. I'm Fiola. Or I was, what? once. Don't you see? I left that old scab. Came home to Skyrim and found this rabble of bandits. No. Didn't take much to prove myself and knock them into shape. 
Now every free blade from here to Windhelm wants to sign on for a peace. That's quite a story. And it won't end here. I'd die before I went back. Hmm. That can be arranged. So what am I supposed to tell Krister? I don't know. I never expected the old bag to follow me so far. Just get rid of him. But don't kill him. I don't hate the man. I just want him to go back to his farm and forget about me. Hmm. I'll try getting him to leave. Take my wedding band. Stoon only knows why I kept it this long. He'll recognize it. Tell him whatever you think will convince him to leave. The ring itself is worth a few bits. Keep it as thanks for cutting off the last vestige of an unwanted fate. Hmm. I understand. So this is your headquarters. I'll just be taking this. Hmm. Who else do you keep locked up here? Hmm. Not interested. Good day. I am letting her live for one reason. The note I read. It seems like she doesn't approve of the kidnapping and the beatings. From what I've seen in my short time in Skyrim, there is no shortage of these bandits and outlaws, so... So if Skyrim is fortunate enough to have a leader of this rabble who actually has some sense of ethics, well, it's the least I can do to leave her alone. Besides, it wouldn't be fair to shoot her in the back. Uh, what are you doing here? Where is she going? I don't understand. Oh, where is this fool, Krister? Why isn't Fiona with you? Hmm. I found this ring, but no sign of her. Her marriage band. Then there's hope. She was here. I have to move on if I want to find her. Please, take the coin I promised. Blessings of Stendar on you. Except a blessing of Stendar. Uh, now, what are you doing? The people here are so strange. I also feel like Fiola is watching me. I knew it. What are you doing here? Oh, it's you. Yeah. I didn't think you could handle this on your own. Pardon me? Did you get rid of Krister? He won't bother you again. How did... No. Forget it. I don't care to know. I'm free of the little man and that's what matters. I owe you a debt and I aim to repay it. We'll see each other again someday. For now, goodbye and thanks. You can repay me by not kidnapping anyone else. <sighs> Foolish outlaw. Draw breath tonight by the grace of my mercy. I'm going to find whoever did this. All right. Now I 
must to Iberstead. I can afford no further delay. Okay, which way? Which way is Iberstead? She's the one that I shot off the bridge. Excellent shot, if I do say so myself. Okay. Iverstead. Aha. I'll just head due west. Looks like there's a large lake. I could go around it or maybe... Maybe go for a swim. We'll see. Again, this feels better. I feel good about this. Ah, the air is fresh here. I was in that dang fortress for too long. I don't even know what you call that. It's just a ruin. Hmm. I'm much more at ease here. I almost feel like I could do a little hunting. Huh. I'm sharp in my senses. No. Just wasting arrows. I don't need the meat of the pelt. But I do need the hunt. Hunt onion. Urun yellow. This is the way. Stick to the road. Iverstead. Very good. It's funny, I thought the the town was at the base of the mountain, but it seems like it. Oh! Umbar. I could sense a bandit in a giant hole that I could sense a pack of wolves. Oh, I really must focus. Hmm. A little protection. Can't hurt. So I 
Hyperstead is at the base of the throat of the world. I mean, it's the, the highest peak in Skyrim, supposedly. But the path to get there is a mountain in and of itself. Now, what is this? I wonder if the people of Iverstead are friendly to an old I wonder if they'd even be friendly to my conjured wolf. It's a frustrating misconception that the soldiers of the Dominion are actually Thalmor, but they're not. Thalmor is a completely separate group, albeit they could be considered the ruling party of the, well, I still call them the Somerset Eyes, but I suppose it would be more correct to call it Eleanor. Now, what do we have here? Uh, well met. What now? Hmm. Orcs. Need something? Not particularly. Hmm? Yeah. I think I'll be on my way. I think I've gotten sidetracked here. Oh, this must be the, the lake I saw on the map. A lake so high, I mean, I feel like... I feel like I've been climbing for days. at some point to present myself to the embassy. Speak with the Thalmor. See if the Dominion itself has any presence here whatsoever. I've seen so few mayor whatsoever. Let alone Aldmer. Beautiful. So this is the lake. It's like a waterfall and it drains, drains down, but what fills it? I suppose melting ice from the 50 mountains I see forming a ring around it on the southern side. Very interesting. It's a beautiful and varied landscape. I really just can't get over it. I know I might end up going for a swim on this journey. Breathtaking. Hmm. Except for the giant spider. Wonderful place to build a little cottage, but oh, you are. You are strong. Ugh. Disgusting. No, oh. oh, thank you. I, I can wash off those arrows. I'm going to use them again. Rinse them in the stream here. It really is an amazing ecosystem here. I mean, I wouldn't have killed the spider if it didn't attack me. Why did it attack me? Is it just in its nature, or... I mean, is it that hungry? Is hunger compelling it now? Oh, I don't like the look of this. This is Iverstead? I must admit I was expecting a bit more. I wonder if they even have an inn. Hmm. I know 
guards don't like it when you approach with your weapon drawn. By the gods, it's true, isn't it? A dragon has attacked Whiterun. Hmm. How could mere men bring down such a beast? What is it? The news of the dragon attack has reached Iverstead already. Interesting. News travels fast here in Skyrim. Ah, this must be the end. Hmm. Quaint. I, um... Oh, shoot. Sorry about the... the kettle. I think I saw it again. A lot. Uh, we'll just put it back it was over, over by the barrows. there. That thing's evil, Linley. I told you to keep away from that. Sorry about that. I'm sorry. I was curious. I didn't believe you the don't stories. look like a pilgrim. I won't go over there I'm ever again. <sighs> See that you don't. Last time I got involved in a spat between family and ended I'm up not going, going to break my word. A golden claw. Pardon me, my lord. Would you care to hear me play my lute? Uh, what do you play? I play the lute. If you'd like to hear something, it only costs five gold. Five gold, hmm? I. Easily pay twice that to hear you, you play, ma'am. No. I'll Why, thank you. you. You're, You're very kind. Away from here Still interested? Uh, so perhaps another time. Very well. Is doing just fine. You What's on the menu? Depends. Are you thirsty, perhaps hungry, day, both? But not today. Hmm. I mean, I'm always thirsty. <laughs> A pleasant journey, my lord. Well met. If I were you, I'd keep away from the barrow on the east side of town. Huh. It's haunted. Tell me more about the barrow. There ain't much more to tell. They're haunted, and you should stay away. Look, I've seen one of the spirits with my very own eyes. When it glared at me, I swear it burned right through my soul. Uh, did the spirits haunt your town as well? Fortunately, they seem to be sticking to the barrow. I think they're guarding it. Certainly isn't helping my business any. Who'd want to rent a room anywhere near a haunted barrow? Well, it's a curiosity I could see it attracting a certain macabre clientele, but I could investigate this for you if you like, sir. If you think there's anything you can do, be my guest. Uh, while we're on the topic, has anyone ever explored the barrow? About a year or two ago, some fella named Windelius came through. Said he was some kind of a treasure hunter. I warned him not to go in there, just like I warned you. The very next night, we heard screams from the barrow, and that was it. We never saw him again. Screams? Hmm. Anything you can tell me about High Hrothgar? The Greybeards are a solitary lot. I don't think they've ever ventured outside their monastery. We get the occasional pilgrim passing through here on their way to the summit. Hmm. But almost all of them have returned disappointed. Is that right? Any rumors around town? Have you seen that shrine of Asura? They say the Dark Elves built it after they fled from Morrowind. Sight to see. Hmm. By Azura, by Azura, by Azura. If you pass through again, stop by for a drink. Oh, how about one now? I mean, I'm here. You don't get many visitors through here, unless they're headed up to High Hrothgar, of course. Right. Uh, Let's sate that appetite. Hmm? Yeah. About that drink. <laughs> oh, I am partial to the Alto wine and some, some beef. Oh. Hot roast, maybe. Keep your eyes open in the barrel. That's how they get you. <laughs> That's where they get you. They get you in the barrel. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I 
think I saw it again. That oh, ghost. Legs. It was over by the barrows. That thing's evil, Lily. I told you to keep away from there. You don't look like a pilgrim. Why bother visiting Ivers? I won't hmm. go over there ever Seems again. Seems to sell my business as my own. See that hmm. you don't. What do you want? What can you tell me about High Hrothgar? Klimik brings food supplies up to them once every few weeks, when the weather permits it. Other than that, they seem like a quiet lot. Don't really know too much about them. Hmm. Quiet except when they're screaming. <sighs> Do I can't. Boring conversation. Hmm. I thought I was very pleasant and charming as usual. Oh, what is it? Excuse me. Dragons? Hmm? The heck did you come from? A strange guard. So, Klimek, that's the man who the rude man told me goes up to the peak with the food supplies. Interesting. Okay, I mean, I wish there was a, a shop or something here. I'd like to unload some of my goods, but I'm afraid I might be out of luck. So this is the barrow. today. Uh, I rather like uh, watching that upset woman fear for the ghosts. <laughs> okay. I need to get to the top of that mountain. Oh, there's just not much locally here. This is one small town. I assume if there were more pilgrims, this would be a larger establishment, but reason would dictate not many people make the journey to the top. If what your blogger told me is true, they were settled down to have too many people are uh, twice. summoned. up the 7,000 steps again, Clement? Not today. 7, I'm just 000. not ready to make the climb to High Hrothgar. The pa passing through on your way to High Hrothgar? About uh. to make a delivery up there myself. No. Oh. What type of deliveries do you make? Mostly food supplies like dried fish and salted meats. You know, things that keep fresh for a long time. Right. The Greybeards tend not to get out much, if you catch my meaning. <laughs> I do. So, you go all the way to the top and... What do you get in return? Well, it's kind of an understanding between us. I mean, it just wouldn't feel right to charge them for a bit of preserved food. Right. Trouble is, my legs aren't what they used to be, and climbing the 7,000 steps takes its toll. Hmm. Well, I'm 191, but none of us are getting any younger. I could do it for you. Really? Well, that would be kind of you. Here, take this bag of supplies. At the top of the steps, you'll see the offering chest. Just leave the bag inside, and you're done. Simple enough. Uh, anything I should watch out for during the climb? Well, there's the occasional wolf pack or stray, but that's all I've ever had to deal with. Shouldn't be a problem for the likes of you. Other than that, watch your footing. In these wintry conditions, the stairs can be treacherous. Is that right? Okay. I appreciate the advice. Careful, Gray beard's there. expecting some supplies. Oh. Hello, my friend. What can I do for you on such a fine day? What are you so happy about? My father taught me an important lesson many years ago. He said, Gwilin, you have the whole world before you. Go out and experience it. Be whatever you want to be. So I took his advice, and here I am. Wise man. This life might not look like much to you, but I'm content. And isn't that all that matters? Hmm. What can you tell me about High Hrothgar? I always thought it was odd that there's a layer of thick clouds covering the peak of the mountain above the monastery. Huh. Not sure what's up there. But I bet the Greybeards know. Hmm. I assume they would. Honestly, I'm not day. certain. I've yet to be allowed into the monastery. His father's a Perhaps wise one. man. I like that Quillen. Watch the skies, oh. traveler. Good morning, ma'am. 
Here for work? Get an axe and bring me all the wood you can chop. Uh, no thank you. What, uh, can you tell me about the peak? The Greybeards stay away from me, and I stay away from them. Suits me just fine. Hmm. You seem very upset. My business is falling apart, my apprentice never listens to me, and now there's talk of dragons. Well, when you put it that way. If I hadn't sunk every bit of gold I had into my mill, I would have picked up and left Iverstead long ago. Hmm. So you're having a bear problem? Are you kidding? Those damn things will drive me right out of business. Hmm. Tell you what, bring me ten of their pelts from anywhere in Skyrim. I'll gladly pay you for thinning out the herd. You really hate bears. Ma'am, if you'll pardon the impertinence of the question, how can they run you out of business? Have you ever seen what a bear does to the trees? They jump on their hind legs and scratch them to bits, marking their territory or something. Hmm. It's getting to the point where I have to scour Skyrim for untouched trees at the right size. Cost me too much time and money. Um, uh. Now go give those stupid bears what's coming to them. Okay, ma'am. I'll go kill the mean bears. Oh, everybody's getting an errand. No one can do anything for themselves. So Ooh. Nurn root. That is important. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it, but I know I need to have it. Okay. Yeah, been in there. Fancy the leather armor, huh? Something to be said for going light. Huh. Suits me just fine. I never met much use for heavy armor. Hmm. Oh, should I sleep for the night or should I just climb? Ah, oh, that's a tough decision. Yeah. I think I'll just go get this over with. Seven thousand steps. Well, the journey of seven thousand steps begins with one. <laughs> okay. What is this? Huh, a tablet. Before the birth of men, the dragons ruled all Mundus. Their word was the voice, and they spoke only for true needs. For the voice could blot out the sky and flood the land. Interesting. Blot out the sky. You know, my father told me about a story about an, a, a bow that could actually blot out the sky. Well, the sun, to be specific. I believe it was attributed to Ariel. Ugh. Yeah! Oh, disgusting. I hate these spiders. Yeah! Ugh. Back into the abyss. Disgusting. I get to Winterhold, I must learn a more efficient way to heal. Okay, onward. Ugh. Are we there yet? <laughs> no, I think I'd rather enjoy this journey. I wasn't expecting anything like this when I came to Skyrim. I thought I'd be stuck in a library reading dusty old books. Not out in the fresh air in the wild. It's a beautiful country. If what I'm understanding is true, they don't summon everyone to the peak, do they? I wonder what they want with me. Am I to be tested, or 
used in some way. Oh, oh traveler. Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to High Hrothgar. Uh, might I ask what you're doing? I like to spend time up here. Walk the steps. Hmm. Meditate on the emblems. Doesn't hurt when I bag some game along the way. <laughs> I wouldn't think so. Do you visit the graveyards? They're not the sort to take visitors. But I never go that high up the path anyway. Some folk who make the trip leave them food or other essentials. But not to make conversation. No, I wouldn't think so. Did you hear the Greybeard's call? I did. Strange days when the monks will do that. I wonder what it means. Hmm. I. Have a good journey. I know what it means. Men were born and spread over the face of Mundus. The dragons presided over the crawling masses. Men were weak then and had no voice. This makes me think on my own people's history. I know the major schism between man and mare. They believe they were created by the gods, by the divines. But we know the truth that we are actually descended from them, and I don't know why they can't accept it. I mean, who do they think is buried at the top of the Crystal Tower? Gods? It's our ancestors. I don't know what's so hard to explain. It's a different type of wolf. Better attention, that wolf got the jump on him. is rather steep. So that man down below, um, Klimek, he said he never saw anything worse than wolves. Uh, there's certainly no shortage of them up here. Uh, Go. Hmm. Rest well, my friend. I think the higher I go, the less of these there'd be. Fledgling spirits of men were strong in old times, unafraid to war with dragons and their voices. But the dragons only shouted them down and broke their hearts. Ugh. The dragons shouted them down. It's funny. The same word, but it sounds so different coming from the mouth of a dragon. Maybe that's because I think I'm about to die when I hear it. Down to 
to go back up. I spent so much time thinking about just what I want to do. I'm always being pulled in different directions. My father's demanding I become a mage and I study a winter hole, but it's not how I was raised. It's not his fault. I was sent to live with my mother and I followed her ways. I've always been more comfortable out here in the fresh air. Not quite this cold climate, but... What would you think if you could see me now, Mother? You'd probably say... Poor woman. Look out for that troll. of wolves, he said. Nothing ever worse than that. <sighs> I think I'll have to have a talk with Klimek when I get back down to the bottom. Men prevailed, shouting Alduin out of the world, proving for all that their voice too was strong, although their sacrifices were manyfold. It's cold up here. <sighs> this path seems to be going down more than it goes up. tongues the sky children conquer, founding the first empire with sword and voice, whilst the dragons withdrew from this world. So the dragons, of course, they left around the, the founding of the first empire, but why are they back now? at Red Mountain went away humbled. Jurgen Windcaller began his seven-year meditation to understand how strong voices could fail. Jurgen Windcaller, he was probably a dragonborn as well. I mean, they think I am. I hope these gray beards, they'll, they'll take one look at me and realize their mistake. Hmm. Another one. 
Jurgen Windcaller chose silence and returned. The 17 disputants could not shout him down. Jurgen the Calm built his home on the throat of the world. Hi, Hrothgar. Huh. Oh, the wind is... It's cutting. Ah, there it is. Oh, that's beautiful. Uh, I'll stop and read one more. Yes. For years, all silent, the Greybeard spoke one name. Tiber Septim, stripling then, was summoned Hrothgar. They blessed and named him Dovahkiin. Talos? Well, of course, but he was dragonborn as well. The voices worship, follow the inner path, speak only in true need. Damn this wind. <sighs> mm, this must be where people make the offerings at the end of their pilgrimage. Mm, I must get inside. All right, Greybeards. At long last, your Dovahkiin has arrived.